Okay, we're in number 11. One and two. Oh, I see a little tent. 10 through 19. Okay, we're going. We're staying in number 11. Honey, we're in the 11. Oh my God. Out we're there. right next to the shower. That was 10. 11 is going to be next. Yes. Being next. See, it's the luckiest campsite. Okay, we just made it to Zion Luxury Camping, and I just realized that our camp... Close... What is happening? <laughs> that our site number is 11, and today it's kind of significant, because today when I washed my car, I paid $11, so all the totals on the car wash receipt was 11, plus I was car number 111 and then our campsite is 11 so that's a synchronicity it is a magical day I hello creators and welcome back to my channel i'm in the car <laughs> Here we are. Here we are in the car, once the again, car. always in the car. Driving far. To see some stars. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> we are going to Zion National Park today because we are celebrating our 10 year wedding anniversary. All right, now sir, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> and we decided to do something different. We didn't have much time because David just started a new job, so we didn't have any time off to go anywhere, like, for an extended period. And it's close. And we found a luxury campsite. It's called Zion Luxury Campground. And so we're glamping. I've always wanted to go glamping, so I'm super duper excited. We're driving there right now. We have to go to Costco first, because Costco, I don't know, you just always have to go to Costco. Join us on this expedition through the desert. Brews for $27, we should've went there. We got here at nine. But it's 10 o'clock. Oh, it's 10 Utah time. Hey, look at the little solar There's lights. There's little solar lights. I almost <laughs> bought some solar lights because <laughs> I love them. Oh, they're everywhere. One and two. Oh, I see a little tent. 10 through 19. We're staying in number 11. Honey, we're in the 11. Oh my god. I didn't even think about looking at all Luxury camping. I'm so freaking excited because it's dark so I can't see anything so it's kind of like Christmas because there's this big huge beautiful present that is right out here and I'm looking at it but I can't see what it looks like and so it's kind of cool but I can see all these little tiny twinkling lights everywhere in the desert they had put up little solar lights to light the path so that's really freaking cool the sucky thing is we have to walk down to our tent and i don't know how far that is and we have a ton of stuff and it's completely dark should have numbers on them cool it's a straight up bed let's turn this on oh my gosh this is cool it could have like more furniture but for camping, like, it's just dope. We finally made it, and we found our tent, so that's super cool, and I wanted to show you guys, I just came to the bathroom, and this is the bathroom at this campground. It looks like a legit bathroom. Like, it's cute. It has full floors. I mean, it's definitely still camping. Like, this is a mess, but, it's not a porta potty. I don't have to put quarters in the shower. I don't know, I'm gonna resign.
I don't know how I did that just now, but it works. Um, <gasps> there's moths and spiders on the ceiling, but it's camping. It's way better than a portable. <laughs> It is Saturday and we are actually in a hurricane. Just kidding. It's pronounced hurricane. Utah. Right next to Zion. Where we're camping is really far from the visitor center. It's an hour away. We didn't even realize, but we didn't do any research before we took this trip. We just saw the campsite. We were like, we have nothing else to do. We didn't want to stay in Vegas. So we just booked it and we're like going on an adventure. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't have any plans. Yeah. So we're going to the visitor center and then we'll see what happens. We are off to a late start. I think it's close to one now and we haven't even gotten to Zion. So that's kind of crappy. The parking lot is full so we have to walk to a shuttle station. Subway. You can have Subway. You want to go to Subway? Isn't there a Subway up in Zion? There's, we are in Zion and there's the Subway. Oh, right. Oh, the Subway. <laughs> subway, the, ex the official sponsor of the Subway. That's what it should say. That's what it should say. I'm not sure what I expected from, oh my gosh, the Tiger Stone. Can you pull that off? Don't do drugs, kids. So I don't know what I expected. Zion to be, but this was not it. It's like freaking Disneyland. There's it's hiking in Disneyland. magical shit flying through the air. I bought a hat. There are restaurants everywhere. And it smells like popcorn. I like inhaled a second ago and I was like, oh my God, it smells like Disneyland right now. Minus the chlorine. The only thing is this river doesn't smell like chlorine. This is way less man-made. Well, this is more Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, we gotta pay to enter. We can go, let's go to Weeping Man. Hello, nurse. <laughs> Look at that nipple. It's been rubbed it's raw. Been it is well worn. <laughs> this one, not so much. This is the preferred nipple. So this is the shuttle line. Holy shit, it's way back there. It goes all the way that way. It's been over an hour from the time we parked our car to the time we're getting to the bottom of this trail, Weeping Rock. I'm already hungry. But it's worth it. I wish you could understand how amazing this is. Look at that. I'm looking at the most glorious and beautiful thing I've ever seen. Super happy. My shoes are already off. 
If there's ever an opportunity for me to take my shoes off, I'm gonna take it. I take all shoeless opportunities. right now because the water level in the river is so high and I can honestly say that I didn't expect anything that I'm experiencing I thought it was gonna be completely different I thought it was gonna be more like Sedona where you just kind of wander around there's like hotels and and restaurants and stuff and that was cool but this is just very controlled there's shuttles and, and bus stops and rules and all kind of things and the shuttles felt like Disneyland and it's just been a more crowded experience. I thought there was gonna be less people, but we found this area and there is way less people. You can see people walking behind me. That's the main trail. And then there's sometimes you'll see little trails that come down. Um, the squirrels are out of control. They will come right up to you and just like be on your feet, climb into your backpack. Damn it. I was trying. Stuff, don't feed them because they get fat and sick. They're, they're not supposed to eat people food. And I suspect that people shouldn't even be eating people food. This is amazing. I'm having so much fun. David's having fun. There is water, so literally I don't care about anything else. This is like the hike that I always wanted to go to when I was a kid. Growing up, we just went to Red Rock and Mount Charleston and I always wanted something that was this lush and had water. And this is exactly what I've always wanted. And it's not far, it's only two hours, two and a half hours. So we could just bring the kids for the day, like get up really early and come up, do it, hike, and then drive home. I don't see a problem with that. I love it, definitely like Disneyland. There's a band playing. We're about to go to the gift shop and the beer garden. They have beer to go. We also got smoothies at the end of our hike. So that's very Disneyland-esque. It's a good mix between amusement park and nature. 